What is Sony saying about reports that its updated terms of service is essentially putting Big Brother in your living room? Well, we'll have more information on that today. And don't worry, it's, it's actually good news. My name is Marco. I, am, I live in Orlando, and you're watching my gaming channel, Marco in Orlando. Hey there, everyone, and happy insert day of the week here um, to you all. Today, we have some news from Sony regarding its upcoming PlayStation 5 release and a controversial blog post that it's shared online and has since kind of walked back and apologized and clarified is probably the best word for it. But first, if you like this content and you know, hit that like button down at the bottom of the page it really does help my channel expand its reach which we're, we're, we're actually obviously trying to do here um, if gameplay content is what you'd like to do I, I do uh, videos on actually gameplay uh, I do also videos on game news I do game analysis we have upcoming releases a lot of them coming up we have the PlayStation 5 news coming so please consider subscribing if that is your jam so uh, let's get on with the Sony PlayStation 5 news. Now, earlier this week, the company updated its terms of service in its 8.0.0 update for the PlayStation 4. Uh, the new term stated that chats within gaming sessions, quote, may be recorded. Uh, now, gamers took that to mean that Sony would be recording your gameplay chat, which set off concerns about privacy. However, this week, Sony clarified the meaning of the updated terms and then later apologized for, the self, for what I consider a self-inflicted controversy. Catherine Jensen, Sony's VP for Global Consumer Experience, posted the apology on the blog late Friday. You can find a link to that in the video's description, as it's just out there on their blog, which I, I hope you guys are all following, especially as we get closer to PlayStation 5 release. I imagine there's going to be a lot of news on there uh, being shared um, as, as we inch closer here. Jensen predictably said online safety is a major priority for the company. Uh, what that means here, she said, is that gamers should be able to quickly report abuse on the PlayStation Network. So the PlayStation 5 will introduce the ability for players to report verbal harassment through its voice chat function. Um, however, putting the rumors to rest, she said, quote, This feature will not actively monitor or listen in on your conversations, ever, she stressed and it's strictly reserved for reporting online abuse and harassment. She went on to apologize that the company did not communicate the feature before included it in its 8.0.0 update. That's something that companies really, it should be really basic knowledge for companies. Today, more than ever, people monitor those updates and, and want to know as much as possible about the updates. So uh, that's why I call it a self-inflicted controversy. That just really didn't have to be a controversy if they would have just been out in the open and not buried it within an update. Um, and really, they should have put a blog post that said that was the topic of this controversy should have been the very name of the blog before they posted it. I mean, this is obvious reaction from gamers to brand new stuff. Anyway, back to the feature. So Jensen explained that they would need to introduce this within the PS4 because players who are on PS4 will be interacting with players on the PlayStation 5 post-launch. The function will catalog five minutes of voice chat and allow players to submit episodes of what they consider harassment. Now, that, those submissions will then be reviewed by Sony uh, and then a verdict will be, will be um, given out. So the post stresses that only five minutes of chat will be available. As of now, opting out of voice chat recording is not an option. The PlayStation 5, as we all know, will launch in the United States on November 12th. The digital version, which does not allow the use of physical hard copies of video games, will cost $399. For $100 more, however, you can get the, the, the game console with the slot, which is probably what I'm going to do because I still have some physical games that I have um, you know, in my library. Now, uh, other features of, of the PlayStation 5 that we're looking forward to is the haptic feedback that or the controllers will, um, will include. We, you also will be able to do voice chat without using a headset. So let's break this news down a little bit, not just the, um, the controversy from earlier this week, but also the apology. Now, in today's hyper-connected world, I mean, more people are interacting with each other than ever before, and most of the time that's you know, going online and just chatting with complete strangers. Now, nothing really 
limits who you're going to talk to, right? If, if there's someone who, who plays games, regardless of his or her personality, they might be someone you end up running into in the online community. So for the most part, however, let's be honest, game sessions are mostly civil. Um, but every now and then you have people who are trolls and just are, are not out there for, to do anything but either be a bully or just get a reaction and hell, maybe even get a reaction so they can use on their YouTube channel, right? And that's something that we deal with today also, um, which is unfortunate. Now, I find it fascinating that there are two very distinct camps here. I mean, on the one hand, you do have the people who think this is an overreach. This is Sony trying to play God, right? And the gamers can police themselves. Um, they argue that it's been that way for a long time and that you know if there were problems you know why why step in now on the other hand you have common sense frankly um, there are some people in this world who really are bad people and just because you're in a community of like-minded people doesn't give you the security that there aren't bad actors um, there are people out there who just want like i said earlier just want to bully because they think it's funny or they think it's fun but sometimes that leads to tragic situations and that's something that i think the whole gaming community has been trying to address um at least the professional you know gaming sites and 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 game companies i think that's good that they address that this is not a free-for-all and shouldn't be a free-for-all when you have people losing their lives for it and i think that's something that's very sad that happens and i don't don't think it's i don't know if it's it's very sad that that happens but i wonder if it's even just as sad that there are people out there who don't care and think there should not be any sort of policing on this because they think, oh, we can police ourselves. No, you can't. You know, when there are people literally committing suicide because they're getting bullied in online forums, that's not, that's not a matter of policing yourself, right? As you can tell, I support this feature full, full-heartedly. Um, have I been bullied? Uh, not really. I don't think so. I might have been, but I just didn't recognize it because it's not something that I, I worry about. I don't play enough online games to be bullied also. Um, but there was one guy who's, who like, whose butt I kicked in MLB 20 and, you know, he just tried and he was being very rude in the chat, um, and, and sent me some messages, uh, in my account. I I didn't take it personally. I know this guy probably, and it it just sucks. Probably just a bad person. Um, and so I'll never report anybody. I, I I do not plan to report anyone, but I understand that some people might take bullying or harassment differently than me and might want that, at least that option. Um, you know, gaming, gaming is, has taken some black eyes over the years because of this very topic. And it's, it's something that, as I said, video game companies have been trying to address in some way, shape, or form. I think the self-reporting function is a great idea. I think, um, you know, the fact that they're going to not just allow people to report it, but also they're going to um, sift through all the reports, that's fine. That's even better. Because there are people who overreact and think that because they lost, they're they're, they're gonna just gonna grab some revenge on this person who beat them, and um, so that that I get that. Um, but like I said, this community has always had a black eye on it. We've looked at it by outsiders that harassment is normal and that that most people harass. That's not true. I think, but given giving the bullied people a tool to fight back, I think is something that's going to be a positive um, advancement for gaming in general. And makes me look forward to PlayStation 5 even more. Um, so thanks again for watching. And I hope this is something that you found interesting. If you did, subscribe. If you if you like the video or agree with me, put a like down there. And what do you think? I mean, I don't, I don't want, I don't think this is a one-way conversation. I think this is also, and I also think this is an important conversation. What do you think about Sony's decision to put this into their game, into their PlayStation 5? Um, do you think it's a good thing? Uh, do you think... It's an overreach. Do you think it's overreaction? Do you think I'm wrong? I mean, let me know in the comments and, you know, start this conversation and we'll talk to you again sometime soon.